Hi friends, welcome to Plexus Ortho. My name is Dr. Kanan Kumar and today we're going to discuss an important topic uh, which is called as Keen Box Disease. A lot of patients do not understand this problem. A lot of patients come to me asking about what is Keen Box Disease, why does it happen and what are the issues related to it and how do we treat it. So today we're going to look in brief about what is Keen Box Disease. Okay? So Keen Box Disease affects one of the bones in your wrist joint. Okay? So in the wrist we have eight bones and one of the bones is called lunate. It is shaped like a half moon and that bone is what is affected and that is called as skin box disease. So what happens to that bone is that there is a decreased blood supply to the lunate bone. We do not clearly understand why this blood supply decreases to the lunate bone but for some reason it does and it happens usually in more so in females as compared to males in the ages of 20, 30 and 40. So between 20, 40, you know 20 and 40 age is a very common age group in which this um, lesion occurs. So there is a decreased vascularity of the bone and the bone tends to collapse over a period of time causing intense pain. Right. So what are the signs and symptoms with which the patient presents with? The patient presents with pain in the wrist joint around this area. There is decrease in the range of motion. There is decrease in the grip strength. Patient is unable to perform his or her regular activities including cooking, writing, lifting heavy objects, you know and uh, even driving a vehicle becomes a little bit difficult so these are the various things that which uh, with which a patient presents to us with so when the patient presents to us uh, with these kind of symptoms the following investigations have to be done we first get a radiograph and then we get an mri scan and then in some cases we do get a ct scan as well but a radiograph and an mri an x-ray and an mri are a must in the diagnosis of keen box disease so what are the things that we are looking for in the x-ray and the MRI? In the x-ray you will see an increase in the radio opacity of the lunate bone. That it means it looks more white as compared to the other bones and uh, it will look collapsed in the later stages as well. It, as the severity of the disease progresses, the lunate will lose its shape and it will collapse as well. So there are four stages in the cane box disease. The first two stages are the milder forms in the second, third and the fourth stage are the more severe forms. In the first stage we can only see changes in the MRI scan, we cannot see anything in the x-ray, the x-ray will look normal. In the second stage there will be increased radio opacity in the x-ray and there will be changes in the MRI scan as well. In stage 3 and 4 the lunate will start to collapse and fragment. Once it fragments or becomes into pieces then we need to get a CT scan to confirm the diagnosis and to further establish the diagnosis okay so what do you do when you see a keen box disease what is the choice of treatment what do you do when you see a keen box disease in the early stage of stage one where the x-ray does not so much changes we can use a cast or a splint for six to eight weeks and see if that revascularizes the lunate bone right and we give, uh, so this cast can be given for a couple of months up to a couple of months and then we redo the MRI scan after three months and see if there is any benefit or if there is increase in the blood supply to the lunate bone. If uh, in stage two, the patient presents to us in stage two, uh, we do what is called as a joint leveling procedure. Okay, so joint leveling is basically the, the forearm is contain forearm contains two bones, the radius and the ulna. The radius is usually taller than the ulna or longer in keen box disease. So we shorten the radius and bring it to the same light, uh, height as the ulna and this will reduce the stress on the lunate and improve circulation into the lunate. Right? Along with this we also call, uh, do some decompression of the lunate. We make a small hole in the lunate bone and then put in some bone graft which is a vascularized bone graft. That piece of bone has its own blood supply and we bring it to the lunate and fix it there. So this will increase the blood supply of the lunate. In stages 3 and 4, we cannot do these procedures. These procedures may not be sufficient for stages 3 and 4 and we have to do what is called as salvage procedures. What are the salvage procedures? The salvage procedures include something called as a proximal row carpectomy where we remove the, the three bones that is closer to the body, that is what we call the upper three bones and those three bones are removed and the new joint is formed by the capitate bone as one of the other wrist bones and in this case your pain completely goes away you will retain some range of motion and your grip strength will come back to almost 90 percent of previously if all fails in and there is some arthritis that sets in, in the wrist joint then you will 
I have to do wrist fusion and uh, no other procedure will be useful at this stage. So this is in brief about uh, Keen Box disease. Keen Box disease in basically is a decrease in blood supply of the lunate. We don't know why it happens and uh, it usually happens in the middle age uh, group of patients and there are various treatments available to correct this problem. Please do get in touch with me if you have any queries regarding, regarding Keen Box disease. Thank you very much. My name is Dr. Kanan Kumar and this is Plexus Auto.